Good morning. A new face, so it must be Monday. I'm Carolyn Howarth, and it's my pleasure to walk and talk with you through the next chunk of Luke's Gospel. So this morning, it's Luke chapter 10, verses 17 to 24. The story so far. Jesus' disciples had been sent out on their first ever preaching and healing mission without Jesus. And it's gone really well. They come back over the moon. The demons were cast out and people were healed. So did Jesus say, well done chaps? No, he didn't. He said, I gave you the authority. Do not rejoice that the Spirit submitted to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Why the cold water, do you think? Jesus perhaps sees the longer term picture. Their ministry may not always go so swimmingly. So for the disciples to keep following him, whether things are going well or going badly, they need a deeper faith. They need to know they are grounded in the knowledge, in God's knowledge of who they are. Each one is a child of God, known intimately, loved unconditionally. So even if the mission trip had not been a success, God would still love them. It's a state of being, we might say, rather than doing. So for you this week, is it being or is it doing? I'm not very good at being. I'd much rather rush off and do it. But I've been learning from my online yoga classes that lying on the floor can be very beneficial. You relax completely onto the ground, sinking your whole weight there. Now, one theologian has said that God is the ground of our being. And as we totally trust the ground to hold us up, so we can totally trust God to do the same. I fear this analogy may not, be, may not work well in an earthquake zone, but here I think it's fine. Then Jesus says, blessed are the eyes that see what you see. All the Old Testament worthies looked forward to the coming Messiah, but it was the disciples' privilege to know him and follow him. And I wonder if, in a sense, we are privileged too. People before us have not been where we are. They could not know about coronavirus. So it is our privilege to be here in this generation, in this time of crisis and new opportunities, seeing what we see. If we belong to Jesus, we are by default his frontline workers. So let us take heart and pray for our government and leaders and medics and scientists. We have Jesus's authority to come against evil and to fight for good. That sounds like doing, doesn't it? Well, I have an idea. I'm going to try praying while lying flat out on the floor, trusting God completely to hold me up and to hold his whole world up while I cry out to him for mercy and grace in this time of need. Being and doing together, perhaps. Worth a try, do you think? Have a good day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.